Hello everyone. You are welcome to how to find the value of m from this series. 1 plus 6 plus 11 plus 16 and so on up to plus m is equal to 616. So, let's start. The difference of between two terms 1 and 6 is 5. And the difference between these two terms 6 and 11 is 5 and the difference between these two terms 11 and 6 is 5. So, the difference is a constant between all the two terms. So, this is an AP series and in this series this the first term is called A sub 1. This second term is called A sub 2 and so on. This last term is called A sub n. And this uh, sum is called S n. So, we have uh, value of first term A sub 1 is equal to this 1. And we have common difference D is equal to this 5. And we have uh, last term as A sub n is equal to m, this one. And we have sum of the numbers S n is equal to 616. Now, to find the value of m, we use two formulas. The first one is uh, the last term A sub n is equal to A sub 1 means the first term plus n minus 1 times d means common difference. So, from here we have uh, a sub n as the last term is as m. So, here we write m is equal to and first term we have 1. So, here we write 1 plus uh, n minus 1 times uh, common difference we have 5. So, here we write 5. Next m is equal to 1 plus 5 times n will become 5 n and 5 times negative 1 will become negative 5. x m is equal to this 5 n and 1 minus 5 will become negative 4. Let us call this equation equation 1. Now, Now, we use the second formula that is uh, sum of number S n is equal to n over 2 times 2 times a sub 1 means first term plus n minus 1 times d. Now, in this formula, we replace this uh, S n with this uh, 616 and we replace this A 1 with this 1 and we replace this D with this 5. So, this will become 616 is equal to n over 2 times 2 times the first term we have 1. So, here we write 1 plus n minus 1 times difference we have 5. Next 616 is equal to n over 2 times this 2 times 1 will become 2 plus 5 times n 5 n and 5 times negative 1 negative 5 x 616 is equal to n over 2 times this 5 n 5 n and 2 minus 5 will become negative 3. Next 616 is equal to we multiply this n by this expression. So, this will become n times 5 n minus 3 divided by 2 and from here we multiply both sides by 2. 
so 2 times 616 will become 1232 is equal to this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and at right hand side we are left with n times 5n minus 3. Next 1232 is equal to n times 5n will become 5n squared and n times negative 3 will become negative 3n. We move this uh, 1232 to the right hand side then this equation will become 5n squared minus 3 times n minus 1232. 2 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation. In this equation, we have a is equal to 5 and b is equal to negative 3 and c is equal to negative 1232. And according to quadratic formula, n is equal to negative times negative 3 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 3 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 5 times in place of c we write negative 1232 divided by 2 times in place of a we write 5. Next, n is equal to negative times negative 3 will become positive 3 plus minus square root of this negative 3 squared will become 9. Negative 4 times 5 times negative 1232 will become plus 24600. 40 divided by 2 times 5 10. Next n is equal to 3 plus minus square root of this 9 plus 24640 will become 24649 divided by 10. Next n is equal to 3 plus minus square root of 24,649 is 157 divided by 10. It means n is equal to 3 plus 157 over 10 and n is equal to 3 minus 157 over 10. We simplify this one, this will become n is equal to 160 over 10 and from here we get the value of n is equal to 16 and if we simplify this one, this will become n is equal to negative 154 over 10. Now, because this n is for n is for number of terms. So, the number of terms uh, must be greater than 0. So, this value of n negative 154 over 10 is less than 0. So, this will be rejected. We accept only this value of n 16. To find the value of m, recall equation 1. Equation 1 is m is equal to 5n minus 4. Equation 1 is m is equal to 5n minus 4. So, when n is equal to 16, then this will become m is equal to 5 times 16 minus 4. Next m is equal to 5 times 16 is 80 minus 4 and from here we get the value of m is equal to 76. 
So this is the required value of m, this is the final answer.